Hey everyone, I've seen a lot of questions about brick link and brick efficiency and how to use brick efficiency to um, order your Lego for as cheap as possible. So I wanted to walk through how I do it. I I use brick link a lot, but I'm no by no means an expert. So if there's you know better ways, please you know leave a comment or let me know. So um, what I want to walk through today is this. Uh, these are Lego ornaments. Um, I'm getting these for my coworkers. Uh, and a bunch of different colors, so I want to get the parts on BrickLink. So um, to need this, of course, or to get this, of course, you're going to need a BrickLink account, and you're going to need Brick Efficiency. This is version 0.95.4. Uh, I think it's the latest. Um, so the first thing is to obviously go ahead and just file import, and we're going to go ahead and bring in our LDD file. Um, so you just go and you'll select whichever one. Um, you go ahead and save. You can also import from BrickLink if you want, but um, this is just kind of what we're going to go through. I, I figure some people might be ordering mocks or something that you built yourself in LDD, so this might be the way to go. Um, so the first thing that I always check when we import, so it looks like everything's pretty good shape, but let's just make sure. So we'll select them all, and we see we've got 843 pieces. And let's compare that to our ornaments. Um, so we've actually got 856 bricks here. Uh, so there's a mismatch there, and it didn't import something. I'm not sure what. Um, it looks like it's going to be those dark azure bricks. So we're going to go ahead and walk through how to add those. Um, I'm going to open a, a previously saved one that I've added a couple of those, but we'll, we'll go ahead and add that third one. So it's I've added these two items, but I still need to add the two by six plate in dark azure, and any, I'm gonna need six of those. So it's really easy with brick efficiency. We go up here, click add item, go find our part. It's gonna be a plate. It's gonna be two by six. We're gonna select the color dark azure and just click add, close out of here. And we've got another one here. Um, and then you're just gonna set, set the quantity. So I want six of them. And that's it. Um, so now when we select all of these, we can see we've got 856 pieces. That's correct. It lines up with what you know we've got in um, in our LDD file. The other thing that I did change, and this is kind of important to note, is I changed the cone. So when you initially do the import from LDD, it actually brings in part number 4589, uh, not the alternate part. And if you were to go and check the BrickLink data. So the primary part, or whatever, whatever you want to call it, the initial listing has got about half of the lots for sale as the alternate part. So this newer part, there's a lot more for sale. We assume it'll be available for more people and it'll probably be available for cheaper. So I went ahead and I made that substitution, um, but that's the only other thing that I've done. So we've gone over um, adding missing pieces, and we've gone over making sure all of our pieces have the correct IDs. So now let's go ahead and try to run the report. We'll see what we can get in terms of the cheapest solution. So it's pretty straightforward. You go up here to Tools, click Calculate, and you get this screen. A um, lot of options in here, so I can go over these. Of course, here on the left, you have the countries to query. Um, I select the USA only because I really don't want to deal with international shipping or shipping from another country. Um, you could, you're free to select whatever you'd want. Uh, you have to, you, you want to log in to retrieve price guides. This is going to make proficiency do its job the best, and you want to specify your username. Um, I don't really check any of these other options. I don't keep looking for larger combinations. You could if you wanted to. This is essentially saying once you've found, let's say we find a combination of three stores, well, let's keep searching for four store matches and five store matches. I don't see a ton of point to that, but if you want to do that, you can. Uh, and then you want to max this out at five just in case you need to. So to go over what, what these are, um, the minimum combination of query is the minimum number of stores to want to look at. And then the max is, is five. And you can't go more than five because, honestly, these calculations start taking a very long time. And if we go more than five, you could be waiting for days, if not weeks. I mean, I'm assuming it's an exponential growth. So uh, let's go ahead and hit, hit calculate. Um, it's going to chug along, and of course, it's going to ask you for your BrickLink password. So this is what it's going to use to go ahead, log into BrickLink, and it's going to get 
you, uh, the price guides for all of the pieces that we've put. And you can see here, it's chugging along, it's getting price guide information for each part on the list. And it also tells you, and this is really important to look at, is how many stores it's available from. Uh, when you see this being a low number, I mean, I think my general rule of thumb is fewer than 50 stores, fewer than 40 stores. There's That's kind of telling you that this is a rare part. Um, you might want to be ordering it separately. You might have to order it separately. Uh, luckily, in this scenario, it actually ends up finding matches. These are pretty common parts. Um, but let's say one of these parts was like the Millennium Falcon radar dish, which is only available on one set and probably only available from a very small number of sellers. What you could do is you could actually just go ahead and right click that part and you could delete it from the report and just rerun the calculation. Um, so that's kind of the next step is figuring out which parts are rare, excluding them from your report and running it until you get you know, the stores that you're really looking, looking for. Uh, so it's going to run this calculation. It's going to take a long time. Um, I've already run it, so I'm just going to switch over to that. But again, this this calculation can take a really long time, depending on how many bricks you're reading. This is fewer than a thousand parts, um, so it can take a long time. So let's go ahead and look at our brick efficiency report. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So first of all, you got your parts list. We don't really care about that. Um, but now it goes through and it, it goes through the, the solutions that it found. So this is our first match, and it's showing us that we're going to be able to purchase these 860-odd parts for around $72, which is a pretty good price when you factor in shipping that's around 10, 10 cents a brick, um, which is reasonable. And it's cool because it gives you links to the stores. It shows you what you're going to be purchasing from each one, and it does that for all three of these stores. And it has m more, more matches as well. So if you need to change things up or if you don't want to order from a certain store, then you know, you can, you can go with another match. Um, and I think actually in this report, so it's only showing 10 matches, right? It, it, I mean, if you wanted to generate more than 10, then you could go ahead and set that option up in your calculation. But um, really uh, among these 10, you're gonna find a good combination. Most, most of the time, this first combination is gonna work just fine. So this is, um, we're, we're in good shape. We only have to work with three stores. So the next step, um, you want to evaluate each store's minimum purchasing requirements. A lot of, some sellers will have min buys, right? So if you go to the store terms for each of these stores, and we say min buy, so this guy, two bucks, no big deal. Um, five bucks, I think, yes, yeah, so we're going to be above five dollars for him for sure. And then uh, for Rapids, eight dollars, and I think Again, yeah, so we're well above $8. So we're in good shape here. We can order from all these stores. There's no problems. Um, if you do have a minimum purchase problem, then one thing you could do, you could blacklist the stores in brick efficiency, um, or you could go look at another color combination, uh, or not color combination, another brick efficiency combination that could hopefully get you where you need to be. So with three stores, what we're going to go ahead and do is actually create three wanted lists. So if you go to Bricklink, you go to wanted, and you click my one and listen. And the site is, it's sometimes a little tough to navigate, but we're essentially gonna wanna create, we're gonna add three new wanted lists down here. You can ignore what I've already got. Um, and I'm just gonna call these, you know, ornament one, ornament two, and ornament three. And these are representing the three stores that I'm gonna end up purchasing from. And the thing to note here is this ID, your wanted list ID, because that's gonna come in handy. You're, you're gonna really need this for the next part. So let's go ahead and get our first wanted list ID for this for first store. So we're gonna just go through Brick Dogs Emporium, and we're gonna go ahead and add all of these parts to our Brick Lake wanted list. So that ID that we just copied in, this, this XML, you don't need to worry about this, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this the, the wanted list ID, you're gonna copy and paste it into here. Make sure you click go. What that does is it'll regenerate this XML with that wanted list ID as a tag. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna click in here. You only gotta click once. You're gonna copy it. You can right click it if you want, or you can just you know, control C. And then you click this upload button. This brings you over to Bricklink, and you're gonna just paste all that information in here and click verify items. 
uh, it, it's extremely rare where there's a problem here. Um, and you know, assuming all the IDs match up, uh, you, you should never have a problem uploading your wanted list unless you're searching for an extremely rare item. And we've kind of been over rare items. Those are going to require individual purchases or, or very small batch orders. So we've got 14 lots. Let's go ahead and upload that. And so now we can go ahead and check out um, if we look at the ornament one wanted list, we will see we okay we brought in fourteen items, so it, it did the upload correctly. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for our other two wanted lists. So go to ornament two. There's the ID. Go down to the second store, which is Rob the Builder. We're going to bring that in here. Um, click go. Make sure you click go because right now you're seeing these X's. So the wanted list ID is not populated. You have to click go, and then it's going to populate that ID. Copy and paste it. Um, bring it in. Upload it. Verify. We've got, I always like to make sure, but making sure. So we've got nine unique lots. We had nine lots here, so everything matches up. Upload the file. Great. Now let's go on to our third store. And again, same thing. Copy and paste this, the wanted list ID in here, click go, copy this, click upload, and then verify the items. Again, 12 unique lots ready to be uploaded. And this store, yes, 12 lots. Upload file. So now we have three wanted lists in BrickLink that are populated with the proper amounts. We've got 14 lots here, 9 lots here, and 12 lots here for our ornaments. Matches up with what we generated from. Uh, for efficiency. So from here, it's actually really easy. So I want to make sure that I've, I've talked about all, all that we need to do. So we evaluated the store's minimum purchase requirements. We created the number of wanted lists. We uploaded them. So now all we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and buy the items. So up here in wanted, you're going to click buy shop. And this is going to take a little while because Bricklink's doing some calculations on its own. But we have to click that, and then we want to sort, actually. We, we want to filter this down to only one wanted list at a time. So we're going to click My Ornament 1 Wanted List and click Go. And look at that. Brick Dogs Emporium is the first store, right? And it matches up just like we expected it would with, with all the items that we wanted to bring in here, 784 of them. Um, we wanted to purchase, you know, it, it's, it's got more pieces than we need, but, you know, that's fine. So we're going to just go ahead and click in here. And BrickLink automatically populates all that you all, all the items that are on this wanted list. We're going to go ahead and click Auto Fill Cart Min. So what this is going to do is going to it's going to say put the quantity um, in these Add to Cart boxes the minimum quantity that I want to purchase from this seller. Right. So um, he's selling 24 of these cones. I need more than 20. 24 of these cones actually need 180. So these are going to be in another one of list as well, but we're going to definitely buy them from here because they're probably the cheapest according to BrickLink. Um, so there's a couple of things that I do here. First of all, I make sure that all of these items are new. Uh, if you want used items, that's fine. One thing that BrickLink will do sometimes is it will actually duplicate some of these items. So if a seller is selling, for example, this round plate, if they're selling both new and used versions, both of those um, listings will show up here. And so you want to make sure to only add the quantity for whichever one you want. And then another thing that I like to do is I actually like to order some extra, like I, I round up a little bit uh, where I can, just to account for, you know, sellers missing out on some pieces um, or, you know, things getting lost in the mail. Um, it's just helpful to kind of round up where you can, and everybody loves having a few extra um, Lego bricks hanging around. So, you know what, let's just buy all of these. Um, so we'll go ahead and do this, and then that'll kind of be it. Um, so then, so I round it up a little bit. You don't have to, you know, you, you can do whatever you want. I've just, you know, I've ordered enough of these batch orders where I've been missing like one or two pieces and had to place a whole nother order where it's been kind of annoying. So uh, you add your items to the shopping cart, and then you check out. Um, so PayPal, first class, you know, you carry on and, and you do that. And so we're essentially going to do that for each store. Um, and then the only other 
kind of guide that I do is uh, when I purchase, I do these one store at a time. And I do that just in case. And the other thing I do is I do this really late at night when in theory, or, or I hope that there are fewer people purchasing on Bricklink. Um, and then I, I do it one store at a time in case a store, you know, between the calculation and the upload and me going through the purchase flow, in case they've run out of parts um, or someone else has swooped in and purchased a couple of things, I can go back and, you know, maybe rerun the calculation uh, if I need to. So that's really it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, make the remainder of the purchases. But really, we're, this is kind of how to use for efficiency. Um, things end up being a lot cheaper than if you were kind of trying to do this by hand. It goes by a lot faster. You know, this is an 850 piece order that you can complete in five or 10 minutes. Um, so no big deal. So to summarize, uh, we went over importing from LED into brick efficiency, um, adding missing pieces if they're not there and correcting some of the piece IDs like I did with the cone. Uh, and then going ahead and running the calculation, getting the report and how to uh, upload the report to Bricklink and then how to then go through uh, Bricklink and actually purchase the pieces. So I'll go ahead and purchase the second one just in case you, you missed it the first time. So we go to our wanted list, we sort by shop. This takes again a couple seconds. You go ahead and select your wanted list that you want to look at, which we're going to look at our second store now. And this store was Rob the Builder. So click Rob the Builder. Everything is auto populated. You fill the cart minimum. If you want to, you can order a few extra. Um, just something that I like to do, totally optional. Um, and. Add them to the shopping cart, go ahead and check out, and you're kind of on your way. Um, so I hope this video is helpful. I, I know I see a lot of questions about it. Um, if you do have questions or comments or think there's something I could have done better, please let me know because I obviously want to you know, know this stuff as well. So take care, everyone.